Is that a dog? <laughs> What's your name, cowboy? <laughs> Levi, Levi Colton. Levi Colton. Levi, I like your voice. It's got a nice, deep drawl to it. I like it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yours sounds pretty nice yourself. What about mine, brother? Oh, hey. I didn't <laughs> see you in the car. Oh, yeah. This is my associate, Sophia. My name's Jimmy, by the way, Levi. <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy and, uh... Jimmy and Sophia, you? yep. Sophia. Got it, got it. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Is this your, like, thing? You just pick up strangers? Well, tell me, Levi, what do you do in the city? Uh, I work for, uh, Corleone Steaks. You work for Corleone Steaks? Guys, I don't think he's a dog. All right. Yeah, we, uh, sell, sell, uh, the fine, uh, fine dining meals at, down at, uh, the pier and, uh, up at, uh, Polito. Nice. Some of the best, uh, some of the best steaks in the city. We love that stuff. I love me some steaks, uh, you know, brother. Tony Corleone is a good friend of mine. Oh, is he? Yeah. Hey, listen, do you ever get up to anything, uh, anything a little bit darker than selling steaks? Sorry, Chad, I was talking mm -hmm. to my mom or something, talking to my brother. I've dabbled here and there. Yeah, with what? Yeah, I did some, uh, oxy until I got robbed. Yeah, some, uh, some houses. Nothing too, nothing too dangerous, you know? I'm sorry you got robbed. Step out of the car and let's talk a little bit. Nice by the water. That's you too, Sophia. All right. So, Levi, our opportunity here. Is this guy sketches some money. me the fuck out. Are you interested? Yep. I like the sound of that, but uh, what kind of what kind of things are we? Oh talking my about God! Here? We talked some to this guy before. I knew he sounded familiar. Does, uh, does require some particularly risky activity. You sure you're interested? All right, Sophia. Give him the rundown. Tell him what we're trying to do here. <clears throat> My friend, do you want to be part of a brotherhood or what? Did, uh... Is that Sophia? Yes, yeah, my disguise voice. Oh, okay. I mean, I mean I'm interested. Very I'm good. interested. You want to be part of something more? You know, working for a good cause? Making money while you're doing it? Yeah, yeah why not? Why not? So let me set it straight here, my friend. We are looking to flood the streets with a certain type of product. I'm talking straight from Colombia type shit. And we're looking for the perfect salesman who are going to join. Not your any typical fucking salesman type company. We're not trying to get you to sell fucking lawnmowers or air conditioners. Yeah, we're trying to build a brotherhood shit. of men. And women who fall into the circle of trust and loyalty to sling the most premium Colombian cocaine you can find out there in Los Santos right now. You just said cocaine. I just said cocaine, Absolutely. my friend. I like the sound of that. That's and right. Not just and now, any cocaine. Go ahead. I mean, sorry. This shit is unbelievable. I mean, we're talking like this shit will make you feel some type of way. This is good product. We're not scamming people with this. We're giving Los Santos a taste of the good life, a taste of the kind of shit that's going to really change their lives. This shit will make you feel some type of way. And now listen, I know what you're probably thinking, right? Hey, why are these guys picking me? Like, I, fi I fish all day. I hunt. You know, I try to break into a house once, but 17 cops showed up. I'm never going to do that again. How the fuck does a guy like me with no street cred, no reputation in the underground black market, no sort of thing going for me in the criminal world, be chosen to do something like this? You want to know why? Yeah, why? That's a pretty good question. Because like I told you, my friend, you're joining a brotherhood. A brotherhood of men and women whose only goal 
is to make sure the person on the left or the right of them is just as successful as they are. See, me and my friend Mickey here, we believe in, uh, you know, who, who? I'm my friend Mickey right here. Now we're using real names. Jimmy. That's the kind of, that's the <laughs> kind of uh, trust we're starting okay, to develop. Yep, here. You Mickey, feel me? And this is Lang Buddha, owner of Rooster's Rest. Yep. And sometimes, you know, you might be thinking that's stupid to give me your real names. I can just run the cops, but we'll be leaving a little, uh, a little way of life, what people like to call taking the leap of faith. You know what that means? What does that mean? Jumping out from the tippy top straight to the bottom. Now you're wondering, why do you want to go back to the bottom? Because the top you might be at might not be the peak. And sometimes you got to climb different mountains to figure out what that peak is, my friend. Now, you know, just the other day, I did. I climbed all the way to the top of Mount Chiliad for the first time. Now, my friend, this my mountain that we're offering you the free access to climb is way bigger than any other mountain you've ever seen before. I'm talking it makes Everest looks like it's a little fucking bitch. You're getting the express ticket to Coke that has not been seen in this city before. Like, I mean, we're talking real good shit. Express ticket. Also, I just want to say the fact that you climbed Mount Chiliad yesterday is, I mean, honestly, that's fate uh, for people like us. Mount Chiliad is borderline a religious holy site for us for the shit that we do there. And here's the thing, my friend. You got to prove yourself. We are taking every risk here. Okay, and I'm a very wealthy man. I own multiple, several businesses around the city. Probably, you know, the first, you know, top one is the most successful man in Los Santos. And then following me is a couple of my associates. But that doesn't matter, right? But what does matter is that you want to be in the same position that I am. Now, I was once you wearing a shitty vest and the ugly red tie. This and is now the uh, Corleone dress code. Okay. <laughs> Well, there you go. The Corneoni dress code, my friend. And now we're offering you another opportunity to become the biggest fucking coke slinger in all of Los Santos. Are you in or are you out? What do you need me to do? That's my question. Now, all we need from you is a small investment. Okay, we're going to be giving you wholesale prices for this cocaine. And then from there, we need you to sling this shit on the streets. I'm talking straight flood this shit. Now, obviously, no fucking names. You don't, you don't know where the fuck you got it from. You make up some fucking ridiculous story. What have you? You don't remember our and faces. once you push a little you don't bit remember what we sound like we give you a little more you push that we give you a little more before you know you're pushing 50 60 bags a week before you know you're pushing two 300 bags a week before you know we're fucking bringing you 10 fucking bricks of premium colombian shit buy a fucking yacht and you're meeting a sound of the caribbean fucking ocean with your yacht and we're fucking making business deals baby but to get there we gotta start from the bottom so how many bags you want you're gonna be what are they going for? What are they going for? Hey, what do you think, Mickey, for this guy? So listen, I'm actually going to keep it a buck with you. I'll tell you what we've been able to sell them for on the streets. Because again, this shit is really good. You need to understand some of the basic pricing behind it. This shit is better, way more fun than taking meth. And meth's been going for around, you know, 600 a bag. And it's not nearly as good as this shit. Five grams of Coke. Some shitty coke goes for 400, 500 a bag. We've been able to push this on the streets for up to 1 to 1.5k. For you though, we're going to uh, we're going to start you with 700 a bag and your job will then be to upsell it to people for higher. Start you with 700 a bag, but again, if you can show that you can hustle, you can grind. So you can wake up hashtag grind set and sling this coke, make some money for yourself. You know, we'll talk about getting you more coke. We'll, you know, maybe do a bigger discount for you. For now, we're gonna start 700 a bag. So, how much you think you can move right now? You know what, gentlemen? I'm gonna be honest. This this uh, proposal does intrigue me. You know, I have a business mindset. I'm a pretty damn good salesman for uh, Corleone Steaks down at uh, the pier. Well, then if you're a good salesman, sir, and a good businessman, then you understand that sometimes the initial investment you make might not bring a lot of return. It's about the long term, sir. I'm talking take a step back and look at the bigger picture here. Now, obviously, this price is mocked up a little bit. We ain't got a lot of you about that. But at the same time, if I circle back to the beginning of my conversation, we took a, and are taking a leap of faith with you here. 
I don't know you. You don't know me. You could be a cop. I have no fucking idea. But if you can prove to us you can sting this shit, maybe you make a little bit of money. Maybe you only make your money back. Next time we talk, better deal. Before you know it, you're one of our top salesmen. And you're fucking getting this shit at fucking dirt cheap prices. I'm talking pennies in the motherfucking dollar. Don't think about the first initial sales you'll make as profit. Think about it as a long-term investment to get on top of this fucking mountain. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that again. You kind of cut out there a little bit, Levi. I'll do it, man. I'll take, uh, I'll take some bags. How many bags you want? I it's up to you. Don't lowball us here, man. We're giving you a good opportunity. I'm going to be, uh, you know, you gentlemen uh, pulled me over. You didn't know me. Gave me the, uh, the slowdown. I'll be completely honest with you. I have six grand on me. That's it. I'm down bad. All right, how about we do you, know, you a don't... five grand deal then? Okay, give you a couple of bags. Now, I know you're wondering, five bags isn't shit. I'm not going to make money, but we're not looking for motherfuckers who can make us money. We're looking for motherfuckers who are loyal. And at bottom line, can sell this shit. I want to see you sell horse shit to a motherfucking horse. You understand me? I understand you, sir. So what I want Looked you to do is I want you to life. get back in your fucking car. You know where Pillbox is? I do, yep. You know the underground parking lot to the south from it on the right side? Yep, I know the one. I want you to drive over there. I want you to wait for me and my fucking associate. We're going to bring the fucking product. You bring the five grand cash, all right? I'm going to take okay. my boy Mickey's number here. Whenever you need more, whenever you want to talk, you give him a call and set up another deal. It's the 415-887-6477. We'll see you there, sir. All right, sounds good. I'll just shoot you a text right now. I'm feeling middle about this guy. Mickey, I had like it, the best idea while I was taking a shit. Yeah, what's up? We start yeah, what's up? Sorry, an investment company, right? And we hire brokers to sell stocks. And these motherfuckers that we hire are a cook seller, pushers, they'll be fine, right? And the stocks they're selling are made up. And it's really just cocaine money. I love it. And then we just brainwashed the living fuck out of these cocks. You saw how deep I got with that guy? Yeah, honestly, I kind of like your method. You, you, I feel like I can do a good job selling coke. You're better at getting the dealers on board with us. I mean, you basically convinced them it's a fucking cult. I love it. <laughs> well, that's because it is a cult, but it's a cult that we're not a part of, but they are. We brainwash these motherfuckers into blindly following us and following us into do, doing anything. I'm talking kill a fucking cop type shit. I don't think this thing's gonna fit. You feel me? Yeah. Hey, here's the thing. Let's go one up from stocks. Fucking crypto brokers. There's no way the fucking police can. Oh my god! Yeah, you're just, right. We can just say they're shit coins. At the end of the day, they fucking crashed. They tanked. We don't know where they went. Yes, I like that. I like that. I like that. NFTs, crypto. No one knows what the fuck any of that shit is. We just say some mumbo jumbo about a blockchain and about the fucking uh, work required for the fucking Ethereum transit post quantum processor we sell X -Coin. and the fucking cops will be bored out of their minds we sell x coin Mickey, oh and i'm God, saying like we get a fucking building i go i buy us the tallest the, the third tallest building in los santos we put an office up in there and we have like 40 brokers showing up for work and what we're really doing is giving them fucking bricks of cocaine to sell for the fucking day 
I love it. We go to fucking sleep, we wake up, there's a million dollars in the fucking account. We didn't lift a single finger for that shit. Oh my god, also think about it, Lane. If people ever want proof that we're doing this shit, we can literally just take a picture of whatever the fuck we want and just call it an NFT. And the cops are like, oh, where's exactly. all this money? We're like, oh, yeah, we're investing in these, these NFTs. Exactly. It's a whole fucking thing now. We call our company the Stratum Knights. <laughs> I like it. The Stratum Knights investment. We gotta go meet this guy, Ling. Yeah, we gotta grab the cocaine. I'm out of product. Oh, fuck. So what are you thinking? You in? What, what do you mean? I, I, I thought you it was... You like just, this idea? Yeah, I'm, I'm in a million percent. I didn't even think I needed to say yes. I thought it was obvious. I love this shit. And yeah, I know that it's not like, you know... Inevitably, you know, we might get caught and it might all call them crumbling down. But God, it's gonna be fun for a few weeks. Yeah. See, Mickey, we all we always were the dynamic duo, but your ass never wakes up this early every day. I'll try to wake up earlier. It's difficult for me, though. I mean, don't worry about it. On the weekdays. Just don't pull a hair, you know what I mean? I mean, play. Dude, we're going to do a scuffed Wolf of Wall Street chat. Like, it's literally what we're going to do. Hey, you want to drive us there? I got to order this uh, food real quick. Let's get a fucking burrito wall. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just get it, but I'm gonna eat it. So I got this Oscar stuff on trial. Do you have it? Yeah, that's fine. What do you mean, Dern? What are you talking about? We gotta go get a fucking business. We, we, we gotta go get this uh, account open as soon as we can, and go look for a building to buy. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm all in on this, Mickey. All right, let's run it. Oh, the cocaine guy. Yeah, I just know how to do it now. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'll try it. How, how much? Uh, what you said, six hundred each for ten. Yep. So 6K? Yeah, 6K. <coughs> Why not? Wait, is this illegal? 
<laughs> like, uh, oh my god. Like, am I gonna get locked up for a long time if I get caught? Okay, let's. I want, yeah, I want a fucking skyscraper. And yeah, this this business <laughs> is all. Yeah, uh, back in the court. I want us all suited up. I want us looking clean. You know, I don't want us oh. looking, you know, schmucky. We're not some fucking. Not some. Uh... Random, you know, cartel, you know, toting around giant guns, yelling shit. You know, we don't work that way. We're we're the gentlemen of Los Santos, you know. Ah, uh, yeah. Mickey, we stumbled upon a fucking pot of gold. I just realized how crazy you're about the game. This shit. I'm not even joking. Hey, what's going on, my friend? You got the money? How's it going? I do, yeah. Go ahead and give it to my boy in the pink here. He's I put it in his envelope. It's uh, number 356. There it is. There's a product, sir. Now you sell this, and the first thing you do once you're sold out is you call my fucking boy Mickey here. You understand me? Okay. We got big plans yeah, for this, sir, and I hope you come along for the fucking ride because you seem like a formidable man who knows what the fuck he's doing. Yep, yep. Listen, Settle if them. I don't if I don't answer, feel free to drop me a text and just say, "Hey, uh, what should he say?" Actually, hey, I'm looking for work. Yeah, what's the code word? You know. Does that work? Yeah, that, Wait, yeah. what? Did I do the math wrong? Hey, how many bags does he get, me? What's the math? Am how I, many did you give him? I gave him five, six. Uh, he said seven hundred a pop, right? Yeah, you should give oh, him uh, seven. Yeah, yeah, you should give Here, him. I'll more. give you. I'll give you fucking eight, sir. Oh, generous! Look at that. Yeah, I appreciate that. Because we want you to make money off this. Now here's how your goal, uh, sir. How much do they go for? Whatever the fuck you can sell it for. Yeah. Right? And but like we said, we know this is a high uh, marked up price. We're not going to fucking bullshit you around. We just got to make sure that one, you're not a cop. Two, you're willing to put in the work that it requires to sell this shit. And once you know we develop that relationship, we're going to give you way better deals. I guarantee it. Okay. Yeah, I can do it. You're welcome right, to my text friend. me and say you're looking for crypto. Yeah, tell me you want to buy some more crypto okay. when you see him, all right? All right, we'll do that. All right, my friend. You have a good one. Yeah, the other thing that's nice is, like I said, uh, none of this would be possible if it wasn't for the fact that it's actually really good Coke and oh, 100%. does wonders for you. Oh yeah, we uh, we uh, had two other uh, interviews. Um, me and you. Uh, you might no, not we're gonna, we're gonna put the interviews on hold. We're gonna put the interviews on hold. Right now, we're gonna yeah, go yeah. do is fucking open this business right now. All right. <laughs>